Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to explore the physics of a zip line. We'll look at vector quantities and identify the forces acting on a child during the ride. Here we have a diagram showing a child in zip line. The child slides along the metal wire with a certain velocity and there is a tension force acting on the safety harness. Or section A to define what a vector quantity is. Vector quantity is a physical quantity that has both magnitude and direction. And magnitude here it means the value and the size and direction. For example, we have forces, velocity, and acceleration. Unlike scalar quantities, which only have magnitude, vectors provide a complete description by including the direction in which the quantity acts. So the correct answer for section A, the vector quantity, you have to say it is a physical quantity that has magnitude and direction. So you get one mark right now. For section B, we need to identify and draw two other forces acting on the child. These forces are from the center of mass of the child. We have to draw an arrow, a vertical arrow, which is pointing downward. And this arrow represents the weight. You can say it's the gravitational force. Please do not label this arrow as G. It is not gravity. It is a gravitational force or weight. There is another force which opposes the motion of the child while moving through the air. It is air resistance. And this air resistance is always acts in the opposite direction to the child's velocity. So we have to draw the arrow pointing opposite to the child or the direction of the child's move motion and label this arrow as air resistance. It's a type of force and is measured in Newton as well. Here we get four marks. One mark for the arrow or the weight and one mark for labeling the arrow and one mark for the air resistance and one mark for the direction of the uh, air resistance arrow which is opposite to the child motion if you like the video please do not forget to share and like and subscribe see you next video